Hey, 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 it's Triple G's, and I'm going to make pinto beans in my slow cooker for tomorrow's dinner. So first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to bring you guys here, don't mind my sink with my dishes. Elle just got done eating dinner. I'm going to rinse my beans. Here, so you guys can see it. Like I said, don't mind my. Well, you guys can't see it, so I'm gonna rinse the pinto beans. Okay, my pinto beans is, is, I rinsed it, now, I got my, my pot for my slow cooker, and I'm going to put the beans in there. Uh, let me wipe that, because I don't want that to get wet sink a little bit and I'm going to let me get a spoon I'll be with you in a little bit I'm going to get the ingredients that I'm going to put in my pinto beans be back hey, in hey everybody and I'm back and I'm going to put the ingredients in my pinto beans and I'm going to cook it overnight for tomorrow's dinner. I'm going to put some lemon pepper, some garlic pepper seasoning, and also some gar uh, cube garlic. You can buy these at any store. And some cube cilantro. And also some chopped white onions. So I'm going to now add the ingredients. You guys can see my I got my beans in there. I didn't add the water yet. I want to add the ingredients first. And I'm not measuring it. I'm just putting it in there. That was lemon pepper. This is garlic pepper seasoning. Just throw it in there. A cube of garlic and you can <coughs> excuse me and like I said you can buy these cubes at any store and you can just smash it in there they also got onion cubes too but I don't I ran out of the onion cubes so and then here's a uh, sedentro cube I only add one sedentro cube in there because it's you know salty this one is soft too, really soft to smash. And I like to smash it in there and just smash it around in there. It gives it a nice taste. Then of course you add your white onions already chopped. And then what I do is stir that in now. Everybody, I found some bacon, so I'll put you back here. As you can see, I found bacon. I had to defrost it a little bit in the microwave, 
but when it when it starts cooking it will go ahead and split apart now I'm gonna add water and I also had I always uh, add hot water to it to get it you know started and then what I did I'm just stirring it around Enough water for now. So now let's take you guys here so I can put it in my slow cooker. So there's my slow cooker and it's already on, it's already hot. Then, as you can see, there's my there's the beans, and I'm gonna put it in there. Just clean around the uh, around here. Okay, I got it on high, and it's gonna cook all night. So I got that um, on high. It's my pinto beans, and it's gonna be cooking all night for well, dinner tomorrow. And the next thing I'm going to make, and I'll be right back. Hey, hey, I'm back. And what I'm going to do, we are having pig's feet. So I'm going to, let me get this here. Um, and I'm going to let it um, marinate overnight. And then tomorrow I, I will cook it and it will be boiled on the stove. So. Let me show you guys. Let me. There. I'm going to put it in this bag. And first, what I'm going to do, like I always do, is my mess here. I like to rinse it. Um, I like to rinse my meats. rinse your meats when you cook meats. It doesn't matter. Okay. Let that drain for a little bit. I'm going to get a, paper, a couple paper towels here. Right here and then get it here. And then I'm going to there I there's uh, pig's feet. I'm going to put it in a plastic bag. And like I said, I'm going to do it overnight. I'm going to let it with the seasonings overnight. And this is what I put. Lemon pepper. One of my favorites. And this time, garlic powder. And garlic, chopped garlic. You can see the chopped garlic. And then, let's do this like a sh shake it, get all that nice seasonings in there. Just me and Elle. Uh, probably have my sis over tomorrow for dinner. And you see all that, see all that nice garlic, um, that chopped garlic there. Yeah. Just get it all in there. And use. 
this and then I just stick it in the refrigerator and like I said I use chopped garlic lemon pepper and garlic powder and then like I said I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator and I will be cooking it tomorrow and while the beans so because the beans take a while to cook I got it in a slow cooker and it's gonna cook overnight and then I will I'm gonna I'm gonna boil these on the stove so until I will be boiling this tomorrow on the stove. So until then, I will I will come back and start preparing the pig's feet for you. Until then, see you guys in hey a little bit. Hey everybody, I'm back and I'm going to... My beans is done. I had the beans on all night in this, uh, my slow cooker cooking. Now I'm going to cook the pig's feet on the stove. So I'm going to... Take this out. Let me put the video so you guys can see here the camera. Ugh. So I'm going to put the pig's feet, and it's oh, uh, oh, it's I I had it I had it marinated overnight with seasoning. As you guys can see all the seasoning there. You can see the garlic and stuff. So I'm going to put the water in there. And as you can see, it's all in there. Make sure it's all submerged into the water. Then I'm going to place it on the stove so it can start cooking. Let me show you guys this. Stand. I'm gonna put it on the stove. Put it on high right now so it can start boiling. And I'm not gonna cover it right now. I'm gonna just wait. I'm gonna just wait until it starts boiling then I'll cover it so when it starts boiling I'll be back in a little bit hey everybody as you can see I got it on warm to keep the beans warm and here's my beans it's pinto beans and I put bacon in it and um, onion and some seasoning. As you can see, there's my beans. And I had it cooking all night. And it's done already, but I just got it on warm. So I will be back later. Hi, everybody. As you can see, I put some butter in it in my pig's feet. And it's starting to boil. Once it boils, I will put it on low and I will cover it. <coughs> Excuse me. And I had this pig, pig's feet in the refrigerator overnight with um, spices on it, on it. So as you can see, it's starting to boil okay, there it goes so now I'm gonna put it on low and I'm gonna cover it but I'm gonna I'm not gonna cover it all I'm just gonna leave it partly covered and let it 
steam out, see, like that. So, so it's boiling, but I, I put it on low, so it's going to come down right now. And I put butter in it. There. 